Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So I am often asked the question, what would I love to bring to the game? And although a lot of us have so many ideas for the game, some of them are far too extravagant to ever be implemented. Let me explain. A lot of the time, people want amazing things added to the game. The ice zone, a leviathan, new and interesting sea life, a PvE mode. <laughs> But although some of these ideas are very cool, and I wouldn't dismiss them if they ever came into fruition, these ideas are less than likely going to see the light of day, or at least anytime soon. In game design, it's often the smallest of ideas that can be changed that then offer a greater longevity to the game. The first anniversary update versus the second anniversary update was a great example of this. The first anniversary update added a huge amount of content to the game. Fishing, hunting, cooking, tall tales, and an arena mode. And although these features were welcomed by the community, and were also very awesome indeed, they didn't really add much to the core gameplay mechanics. The second anniversary update, named Ships of Fortune, added an emissary system and a new PvP faction. Oh wait, sorry, not, not a PvP faction, I meant a running away faction. Bloody wannabe reapers. The second anniversary update changed the gameplay mechanics, which essentially turned the Voyage factions into a sort of turf war. And the increase in levels for each faction was welcomed not just by new players, but veterans too. Essentially a very small update in terms of content, but increased the longevity just as much, if not even more than the first anniversary update. It's updates like these that actually matter to a game's shelf life, not just adding a new zone or a new game mode. So I've put together a few little ideas that I've been muddling over since I started playing the game in closed alpha, that I think would increase the game's overall feel, quality of life updates that I feel would be welcomed by the community. So to kick it all off, let's talk about storage crates. First of all, best update the game has ever had in my opinion. However, not a great implementation. First of all, I think we could all agree it would be fantastic if storage crates could interact with a barrel. So rather than putting items into your pockets and then into the storage crate and then out of the storage crate and into your pockets and then into the barrel, wow. Implement a system so that you can interact with a barrel whilst you are holding a storage crate, cutting out the whole pocket shuffling mess and speeding up the stocking time. Also, make these storage crates purchasable for a somewhat modest fee. Let's say you could buy an empty one for 10k gold from a shipwright. I realize that seems a little overpriced for newer players, but think of it as a perk for being a successful pirate. You can still find them on practically every island, but for those of us who have cash to throw away, you have the option to simply buy one when you log in. Now let's talk about bananas. Bananas were the only food we could consume at one point. They offered the same amount of health regeneration as a coconut, and the world was a happy place. But during the anniversary update, a vast amount of new food types were added, which also came with a nerf for our beloved potassium friends. In my experience, only having bananas on board in the present state of the game essentially means certain death. Bananas have become the eye roll the trash loot, the reason for most rage. So why not give these little guys a little update and bring them back into the food chain? Place a banana on a stove, and within a short amount of time, they become a caramelized banana, which upgrades their health gain to that of a coconut. It would be perfect for those times when all you have left are these little blighters. Just a few seconds on the stove would give them a nice little upgrade. Let's move on to flags. In the Ships of Fortune update, emissaries were added. People rejoiced, money was made, ships were sunk, and reapers ran away. But one thing that bothers me about this update is if you are sunk, or if like me you lose a battle with an island and, and sink, your flag rises to the surface, where it is either deemed completely useless or stolen by an enemy crew. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but it cannot be that difficult to reattach a simple flag to the back of your ship. Emissary flags should have the ability to be reattached, which means if you were sunk, you still have a chance to chase down those who stole it from you and reattach it. Furthermore, with this idea in place, you could potentially steal someone else's flag and the flag's emissary value, and not only reap the rewards of their loot, but also enjoy the increased hand-in for stealing and attaching their flag. And yes, I realize this could potentially be cheesed on an Alliance server, but hey, everything is cheesable on an Alliance server, so shh. 
Animals! You either hate merchant quests or you love them, or you just love killing poor defenseless floof balls. But animals are essentially a great form of income. When on a merchant mission, coupled with a merchant emissary, you can earn up to 6k gold for a single golden chicken. However, if you are not on a merchant mission, these animals only sell for 400 to 500 gold. That itself is not under dispute, but I've always thought it'd be great to have extremely rare variants of each animal type. Let's say a purple pig, for example. If caged and sold to the merchants, whether you're doing a voyage for them or not, will net you a large amount of cash and rep. It would certainly give a lot of use for those random animal crates you see lying around. You could essentially store them on your ship just in case if you spot one of these rare animals. And whilst you're trying to find one of these rare animals, you'll be staring at your ship's compass. Now this isn't really an idea to increase longevity, more of a cosmetic idea. But your ship's compass is something you look at a lot during any play session. And with so many different skins already present for your pirate compass, I just think it'd be cool to edit your ship's compass cosmetics. That's it really, don't judge. Ship's log! Every ship has a ship log, right? Well, no, not, not in Sea of Thieves. One idea I've always thought would be great would be to have a ship's log present in each play session, which pretty much works like a tall tale book. But as you cruise the lands, whatever happens and whatever you do or sell is logged into this book. It'd be a great way to show friends and share on social media to flex your exploits. Furthermore, if an enemy player were able to read your ship's log, they could get an idea of what your plans are or whether or not you're worth their time. Unless you bought a Reaper ship, of course, then it would just look something like this. Small ideas like this don't really change the face of the game, but adding variety to everyday encounters are the sorts of ideas developers love to hear about. In my opinion, the game has more than enough content to keep most people interested, but with just a few tweaks here and there, it could potentially make the content so much better. Feel free to share your quality of life ideas in the comments below. Who knows, maybe a dev will be reading where they will steal your idea and call it their own. Like this video I made from one year ago where I proposed a emissary system. Copycats. I don't mean it rare. Love you, babes.